So if everything's gone according to plan, this video should be uploaded on Christmas Eve. And if it's not, that means I got incredibly lazy. This wasn't intended to be a Christmas review, but it was the one I had ready, so it may as well be. I never originally planned on picking up any of the fossilizers, until I found Paleotrex on sale for what I thought was quite a reasonable price. Fossilizers, in my opinion, were a great idea on the surface, but turned out to be an average bunch of fossily fellas. Paleotrex himself is a nice figure, but I have a few problems with him. Design-wise, he's great. The asymmetry of the arm is really nice, and makes him look like a monster, which I believe is kind of the goal of the fossilizer's design, especially when the mask is down. The lankiness of the arms also adds to that monstrous look of the figure. One of the best parts of this figure is the paint job. It's amazing. It manages to make the transformer made of bones look not bland, which it very easily could have been. Now, here comes one of my problems with Paleotrex. His legs just aren't fun to pose. This is mainly because his ankle tilt is just loose and kind of annoying. The looseness might just be a problem with my mold, but it's hard not to say that this ankle tilt makes a lot of poses look nasty. What the heck? Now in honor of Chefatron, we have to do a plastic quality check. No damage taken, so clearly very, very high quality plastic even though I did accidentally throw him on the stones in one of the takes. Something that's extremely surprising is the fact that even though to transform this thing you have to tear it apart limb by limb, there's only two or three loose joints on paleo tracks, and they aren't even at the parts that disattach. The figure is a lot of fun to pose, except for the legs. He's got a really nice bicep swivel above the point where the forearm detaches, and it means you're not loosening the forearm attachment port. If you need anything positive to say about this guy, at least you can say he's a deluxe with articulated fingers. Something else not so positive is that his tail sword kinda looks like shit when he uses it, but you can conveniently tab it into the back of his arm. I really like what the designers decided to do for Paleotrex's head sculpt. They made it look like some kind of ninja or something. I don't really know what it's meant to be, but I like it. And if you flip down his mask, not only does the head look cool as shit, but it's also based off the mace from the original Optimus Primal toy. Which, if you rip off his head and his weirdly long neck, you can give it to Optimus Primal as a mace. Talking about Optimus Primal using his face as a mace, this leads me on to the main feature of the fossilizers. And that's the fact that when you tear them to bits, they form some pretty badass weapons for other figures. I genuinely think some of these are the coolest weapon designs Hasbro has ever made. Like seriously, I love these things. I'm also aware that if you have multiple fossilizers, you can merge them into an even bigger fossilizer. But I don't have multiples. So overall, the robot mode and weapon modes aren't that bad. Contrary to what you'd think, he doesn't fall apart. And for the most part, isn't a loose mess. So let's talk about the worst part of this figure, and it's the dinosaur mode. The idea of a transformer turning into a T-Rex skeleton sounds class, but it's really just meh. The ribs to head section looks great, except for the robot mode head just kind of chilling up here, but you can easily remove it. But my problems come with the legs, and the fact that they're just skinny and irritating to pose. And the elbows of the robot mode just do not want to hold up 90% of poses in this mode. But let's talk about the good part of this mode, the dino's head, which is absolutely beautiful. Bonafull? Nah, that doesn't work at all. This thing is perfectly sculpted and amazingly painted. It could easily be passed off as part of a dinosaur model kit. Too bad that can't be said for the rest of this mode. The painting overall in this figure though is A++. So my final verdict on this figure is that the robot mode is not my favorite, but I like it. I think the weapon modes are the best part and the dino mode is just very, uh... I think Paleotrex is a very alright figure overall, and I give it a 6.5 out of 10. Not the best figure, but not the worst.